Hello, and welcome back to Forensic Bites. I wanted to talk about some of the new psychoactive substances that have been synthesized in the last five years. So, as you can see from the graph, there's a selection of different types or classes of illicit drug synthesized every year. And in the most recent year, 2022, there were 21 novel psychoactive substances found during seizures in the United States. This is fairly on par with normal, if slightly down on the average across the five years. In recent years, the trend has been for an increased number of cannabinoids and benzodiazepines, matched by a drop in novel opioids seen in that same period. Looking back over the five years, you can see that certain drug classes have been favoured in certain years. For example, in 2018, new novel opioids were most often seen. This largely died away to 2020, when benzodiazepines were being seen in many seized samples. And looking at the graph in the top right, we can see that new benzo drugs have been the main growth area overall from 2019 to 2022, with most other drug classes staying relatively static. So going back to 2018 and the novel opioids, there were several opioid precursors found during this period that had never been seen before, but relatively few complete fentanyl compounds. Two that were identified back then were phenylfentanyl, shown here, and orthomethylmethoxyacetylfentanyl, shown down here. On the left, I've shown fentanyl as a template over here, and you can see that most of the chemical modification being done is restricted to this one area here, presumably keeping the rest of the compound intact so it can interact with the receptors of the body, maintaining its activity. With each new characterization, what's included is instructions for its purification, as well as instrumental spectra that allow you to identify it unambiguously. So here we can see the ultra high performance liquid chromatography chromatogram, and this shows the retention time for phenyl fentanyl. Importantly, it also gives you the column, the means of separation, as well as the mobile phase. So what solvents do you need to put through the column to get that level of separation? instructions provided at the bottom. Next I'm showing the mass spectra which show the accurate mass as well as the fragmentation pattern over here. So with those two things combined you can purify the novel compound as well as perform an unambiguous identification based on this data as a known reference. Switching across to the novel benzos in 2022 it's important to say that these aren't being used in medicine. So these drug candidates are pirated from early drug discovery, so things like university research and pharmaceutical studies. And the reason they do this is to get around federal controls of pharmaceuticals, which means that you can import them more easily and the checks and balances aren't there yet. As an example, I'm showing you the four structures of the most recent benzodiazepines that were identified. And you can see the structural similarities relative to diazepam shown over here. So in 2022, there were 375 identifications of designer benzodiazepines, and that's a 15% increase on the previous year. Now, while new psychoactive substances are shown here, the most commonly encountered seized samples are older than these new variants. So to give you an example, clonazolam and bromazolam are the two most common benzos encountered in identifications, accounting for 56% of all benzos identified in 2022, with the structures shown over here. These two are unique in that clonazepam is extremely potent compared to other benzo compounds, whereas bromazolam circumvented restrictions for a very long time, which allowed a large quantity to enter the United States. And for those two reasons, these haven't been superseded by the newer compounds that are being synthesized, at least yet. That's all we have for today. Thanks for listening, and please consider subscribing.